Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, top of the morning to you. I'm Greg Corey. Yeah, meteorologist Justin Locke is uh, going to join us in any minute now to talk about a heat wave coming up. The next couple of days, it's going to be in the 90s. On the campaign trail, the number one concern among voters, maybe even you, certainly is the economy. The rising cost of gasoline and food, the credit crisis and the mortgage mess. There's many people worried about their future. Do you own a home? Are you hoping to buy one? We have some good news for you. Hoping to avoid more foreclosures and stimulate the housing market, federal regulators may slash mortgage rates. They're asking for $34 billion in loans and many lawmakers can't help but wonder, will the price tag go any higher? Well, with just a few days until the election, you know, the candidates really have no time to rest. They are trying really to become the favorites among the undecided and independent voters because the contest is really getting tight, at least according to one poll. Voters here are waking up and saying, this is why we hold the first in the nation primary, because we make history. Uh, last night, definitely, voter turnout was so high that in some wards, we're being told, they actually ran out of ballots. This is a sample. But the real ones, they were extras, and they had to be shipped in all the way from the state capitol in Concord. And what do you think President-elect Barack Obama is going to say looking at, a, at an incredible deficit and now being told that, guess what, the country is in a recession, has been, and may be in for a while? Be patient. Uh, there's, there's no money there. You're going to have to do more with less. First at seven tonight, though, the terrorist attack in London yesterday has claimed more lives. The death toll has now increased and now stands at 49. Palestinians go to the polls today in the first parliamentary election in a decade. It is game time, and it's our regular feature where, with the help of our sister network, G4, we review a new video game just for you. And this week, we take it to the streets and we test our balance. Here now is a review of Skate It. Well, how about this? Brooke Shields and Christian Slater are losing their primetime TV series. NBC has pulled the plug on Lipstick Jungle and My Own Worst Enemy. You know, it was a really big weekend for Hollywood as talking animals lead the way. Oh! You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Okay, Sophia's enjoying herself. And you know, when you think of Boston, you think of great kids like Sophia, Sean here doing a wonderful job, but you also think of good food, seafood. Our celeb scoop, and I just can't look at this next story. So I'm going to cover my eyes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, right. We're going to start with that Bear All magazine cover that Greg's been drooling over all day. Um, it from everyone else. <laughs> from America's Sweetheart. Check it out. Jennifer Aniston. Hello. In, in nothing but this red, white, and blue tie. For I know this has happened to you because you and your family travel a lot. You're stuck at the airport. Your flight is delayed for hours and hours. And so what do you do? How about this? In the frosty air. You're giving away... Five copies of the movies before it hits the stores next week. Of course, you'll have to, to win to watch. This is really cool because now I don't have to go behind your, your head and do like this. You already got them on. That's I like my so ears, mean. though. That's a, they're quite floppy. You know, it was bound to happen sooner rather than later. Yeah, uh, I wish it was later. <laughs> a nerdy scientist <laughs> has created, yes, indeed, a fembot, as is, well, living mate, so to speak. Yeah, it's a robot. 